this is uh, Minotaur. Um, we're about to uh, do some more stuff. I guess this quest is uh, Deep Freeze, so I have Priest and Monk ready to go. Uh, maybe I'll do Priest first. Priest is going to probably be easier because the final boss of this level happens to be undead. I could either do Dwarf or Human. Um, it's a tough call. Uh, hmm. They both look pretty funny. Uh, I'll do... Yeah. I'll do human. Okay. Human priest, uh... Get all this... Get all these swords. Might as well... Oh. Um... I could prepare an altar of my choice, but this level is fairly easy. I, I might as well make it a little bit harder by not having that control. I would choose Tarog, probably. Um, the final boss of this level, I believe, has uh, retaliates against fireballs, which means non-magic would probably be the best way to go about it. <laughs> um, this should be pretty easy, because priests do double damage to undead, and it's an undead boss. Sigil. I'm not going to waste my money just yet. Jehora, everybody tells me that it's, that it's good, but I don't really feel like doing it. Basically, you need some way to make your stupid... Uh, you get randomly punished for no reason from time to time until you get 45 piety for petition. Um, and, you know, that kind of sucks. Um, and some of them are permanent. And I just don't want to deal with that. I mean, people who, some people really swear by that deity and, like, uh, claim that it's, you know, totally worth it. Punishments aren't really that bad if you know what to do about them and blah blah blah, but I just don't want to do it. What's this dungeon? I forget. It's a fake beard. Oh, uh, you gain five experience when you pick it up, but then you can never ever convert that stupid item. Uh, these piles of gold are good though. I'm pretty happy with those. I'll leave that beard for the last moment, just in case. I might need that 5 experience just to level up at the last second or something. Okay, Glowing Guardian. I'm trying to remember, is there anything about this, about this god that I really, really want to be worried about? Kind of. As a priest, uh, the Glowing Guardian gets a little bit mad at you if you take a potion. I think it's like 10 piety, which is kind of a lot. But if you have a bunch of extra piety left over, you can kind of deal with it. And uh, so if I save enough, if I have enough of a buffer, then I should be okay. Okay, this guy says I had to kill these. I remember, I remember now. That, that one's level 5. It says no experience. That one was spawned by the little side quest to unlock the Glowing Guardian. So basically, I won't be unlocking... I won't be worshipping Glowing Guardian immediately anyway. Uh... Uh, 
Oh, that one's just level one. I can kill it. Prayer bead. These are things every time you ask the glowing guardian to do something for you, he sticks out his prayer bead in your inventory, whether you like it or not. You can never get rid of it. That character is stuck holding onto it for all time. It's a small item, but it only gives you 1% magic resist, and uh, the only way to have it do anything more than that requires you to have an impressive 100 piety stored up somehow. And it's not really easy to gain piety with Glowing Guardian either, so Glowing Guardian t kind of annoys me a lot. But it just so happens that he has one of the best uh, boons in the game. Um, maybe I'll show it to you whenever I uh, whenever I get there. Yeah, okay, and his wall. I am just not going to do Johor. I just really, really don't feel like messing around with that. Uh, okay, I can probably, yeah, I can one shot that. So recall, priests do double damage to undead. It's one of their class traits. It's pretty cool. This vampire, I can probably fireball it. Oh, it has overheal. Uh, Lifesteal, basically, when you reveal it, for the first time, it steals some health from you, and uh... okay, yeah, I don't even need to use fireball. Okay, apparently, I'm just uh, that good at regenerating health. Uh, let's see. I have a lot of money. I think I'll just pick up this pendant of health. Actually, I'll get this one first because I need to, I need the inventory slot so I can actually pick it up. But I'm going to convert it right away. Then I'm going to buy the other one. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. I can hit this guy twice and then fireball it. I could use Inna's wall, but the two hits in the fireball is good enough. So the alternatives are not significantly better or worse, I don't think, but that's something I could have done. So usually it's a good idea to explore where there might actually be things you're interested in and then leave the extra blank spaces for later on when you might need a little bit of extra healing. So that's kind of how you want to prioritize your uh, tiles when you're exploring. And Troll Heart is a little bit late to the party. I already spent my money. I, have, I would need one more money to buy that. And I'm already level 3, so it's kind of a downer. Vampire, I need to get to level. I need to gain a level or two before I can take that on. Hmm. I'm running out of inventory space. I, I kind of want to pick up this cliff, but. Uh, more prayer beads as well, so this is really, really annoying. Um, I'm definitely going to be converting this sword, and I might even be converting some other item at some point. Uh, 
about it later. I don't need biceps just yet. Um, I think as I gain another level or two, this basic sword is going to be less and less relevant to my total damage output. So I won't miss it that much. I could have killed. I probably could have killed that on level three. I just, just, I guess, I just totally forgot it was there or something. Let's see. This wraith. I can kill it. I have to regenerate one tile in between, maybe. But that's no big deal. And then I need one more experience to level. Might as well, let's just do it. So now I'm mana burned, but that's gonna be pretty short-lived. Okay. <sighs> I wanna kill this thing so I can just finish the quest already, but... I think I had to kill a total of five, and I haven't found the other one, so I can just calm down, I guess. This zombie is still a little bit beyond me, even with my passive. things if I uh, get some stone skin. Okay, this monster right here, I can hit it twice and then I can cast fireballs. Nice to be able to use Indus Wall and Biceps, but I'd have to convert something and I'm not ready to yet. Um, oh, we had to heal again because I got a little bit of life drain from the boss. Okay, now can I do it? Hit, hit, fireball, fireball. Looks good to me. twice and then cast a fireball. Yeah, so the one layer stone skin lets me tank just enough damage to do that. Okay, I can probably do this vampire thing now. Yep. I 
probably should just left those prayer beads on the ground, but it doesn't matter. But this third one, or this fourth one, I'm going to leave for now. Because I filled up my... S I have one complete row of small items, and... I mean, that's really why it's relevant, I guess. Beyond, up, you know, before that, it doesn't really matter. Four damage worth of fireball, so I need two mana. Yep. Uh, okay. And I've been sloppy with my end as well. I really sometimes I've been clearing walls that are not actually obstructing anything. I really should be like these high lit walls here. Like that one right there, I should clear because it actually clears up more exploration. I'm just, it was kind of a derp, but it probably won't matter this run. Uh, so, what's new? And I, I, yeah, I probably should have waited until I was about to level up before I killed this thing with mana burn. Uh, that just means I'll pick on something a little bit weaker for the rest of it. It's just another derp. It's only 11 experience, I can do it. Uh, like this goat. Yeah, if I heal up, I can take on the goat without. even without mana. Uh, probably. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I just need two more experience. So let's do that. Yeah, so that's how you do it. Um, this vampire, I just need some stone skin, and I can probably take it with fireballs. I just need to. I can hit it twice without any further stone skin whatsoever. I think since priests do bonus melee damage, it might be more efficient to just uh, cast lots of stone skin, even for the second attack, instead of doing fireballs. Uh, like three hits would definitely be enough. So let's see if I can actually do that many. Uh. Yeah, how much mana am I away from being able to do that? I probably need like 12 mana. Set aside for the after the fight starts. I'm already at 60, which is almost the maximum. Um, in terms of damage prevention, it's not as effective as waiting and then casting it. So, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm in good shape. Oh, they're not even undead. Wow. <laughs> I didn't notice that before. Um, that's stupid. That's kind of an oversight, I think. But, uh, whatever. I'll just hit it twice and cast fireballs. It makes my decision easier. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do all the stuff that I said I was going to do. Um, Let me see. Oh, and Guardian is pleased for now. So, converted. Yay, got, got some piety. Uh, here's what really makes Glowing Guardian worth it, and that's humility. Um, 
it's actually a lot stronger at level one because uh, you know your uh, experience level is one lower, but your stats remain unchanged. So everything except for spells that scale with directly with your experience level, like Burn Duraz, uh remains the same. So the only way you get weaker is spells that specifically reference your experience level. Everything else. It'll say that I'm level 6, but it'll, everything else will be exactly like I'm, as if I were level 7. But then when I fight monsters, when it calculates the bonus experience, it'll be like, oh hey, you're level 6. Here, have some extra experience. So that'll be good. So I'll do that. Absolution. Usually it's pretty good, but it's a lot better early on. Oh, because it's just a flat amount of health that you gain. And, uh, how much health am I going to need? If I want to tank hits from the boss, I need, uh, it, the boss does 75 damage per hit. I don't know. Like, that extra health makes a huge difference early on, but later on, not quite as much. I think I'm not going to do it. I, I need to save piety, because I'm a priest, and... Priests, most of the, a lot of their fighting power is locked up in this good drink passive. Um, so if I'm going to want to use that passive at all, I'm going to need to have enough piety so I don't get punished for drinking a potion. That's going to be really important. So let's save that piety. I think the snake I want to kill. If I can hit it twice, then I'll probably be in good shape. I don't have much mana. Yes, yeah, so I can take two hits and then I can fireball it. Uh, I want to wait till I'm about to level up to do that though, so I need to get a lot more uh, experience. So, like this meat man, for example. I'm running low on exploration, so this is kind of scary, but let's do it. Anything I want to do with my mana first. I kind of want to get rid of my pendant of health so I can pick up this uh, biceps cliff, but is that really what I want to do? Hmm. What's what what would we more useful? Biceps are in this wall. I think I'm gonna be using Burnderaz, and I think biceps is more mana efficient. Especially for the boss fight when I'm a priest and I do double damage on physical attacks. So that's gonna scale off of that, whereas in this wall. I don't know, maybe Burnderaz is the odd man out, but then I need Burnderaz for this stupid snake, I think. Actually, I won't. With biceps, I can two-shot this guy, but he cannot two-shot me. So that's good. So... I don't know, I feel really... I'm really second-guessing myself here, I don't know. And this wall is usually not as good as Burnderaz, but I feel like Burnderaz is not really necessary right now. Um... This level 9 snake, I would think I would definitely need to use fireballs. Eh. I can't get two hits on that guy anyway. So, the, usually you don't want to do this, especially not this early, but I feel like the boss fight, I won't need it. And I have some pretty good options. Gain five piety for doing that too. Going guardian loves it when you get rid of your uh, material possessions or whatever. So yeah, whatever. Okay.
Yeah, I feel like that was pretty... That took a lot less hits to kill that guy than it would have without the uh, extra damage. So that's good. I need a lot of exploration to get to that. And... Okay, I need to get 14 experience before I start that fight. Get that goblin out of the way. Uh, this mean man, is that doable? If I were at full health, it would be pretty doable. That might be my... It's 12 experience right there. That's pretty good. I might want to do that. Oh, these stupid goblins. I don't know, that goblin might have been a bad idea. It's kind of using up all my uh, exploration. Stone skin, I might as well take on something strong. Like that, I guess that meat man might be my best bet. I don't know, that this level 9 serpent might actually be my best shot. I might actually be able to fight it. I only need to be able to hit it twice, but I'll need a lot of stone skin to get there. Okay, so that brings me up to 60. Any further stone skins I need to save for my second attack. Uh, another stone skin might do it. Oh, I can definitely survive it now. Um, the other thing about Glowing Guardian is if you get poisoned, I believe Glowing Guardian gets happy because you're like suffering for the greater good or something. So yeah, that's nice. Is there anything I can do with my mana that... Yeah, okay, so I'm about to level up. Might as well use the mana for something that can help me later. In this case, a bunch of exploration tiles were just right there. Uh, well, four of them. This one here, I was already going to be able to get to. But, you know, whatever. And I think... I forget whether it's 10 or 15 piety that you lose for drinking a potion, but I'll be forgiven at least once, which is a huge, huge deal with uh, this fight. And, you know, priests, they, uh, they're fans of the potions. wish my resistances were higher. I would really like to level up again. Um, because it's kind of sensitive. Uh, it would be a waste of a health potion to take one hit from this boss the way I am right now, and then use a potion because uh, when you're a priest you heal 100% of a health potion instead of just like 40%. So 40% nothing would go to waste if I used a health potion, but when it's 100%, that's a really big deal, and what I would like is I'd like to be, instead of at 40% health, I'd like to take two hits and be at like 5% health, but uh, I don't even know if there's enough experience left on the map to make that a possibility, but I can, I should probably do the arithmetic first, need 40 experience, Let's see, that's 10, 20, 30, and then some change, yeah, okay, that adds up to at least 40, I just need to make sure that I can actually kill it using only the exploration tiles that are available to me. I'm pretty sure there are no more enemies and there aren't any undead lying around. It'd be nice if there were like a level 9 zombie somewhere, 
to make my life easy, but I don't think that's the case. I think I'm going through health faster than I'm going through mana, so I'll do that to even it out. Now I'm with the stone skin, save a little bit of health. Uh, level 6. Yeah, let's two shot that guy. And just explore like crazy. Three more mana before I start wasting tiles completely. I can two shot that guy. But I would need more health to do so, so let's see what else is there. You know what? I'm dumb. A level six warlock, I could one shot that with biceps, and I have first strike on a level six, so that's silly. I guess the stylish thing to do would be to uh, go ahead and kill the serpent, because I'll get poisoned, I'll gain a little more piety. And uh, that's how I'm going to do it. I might as well, I mean, I need to increase my health a little bit just so I can tank through the damage. It'd be nice to get a hit on the final boss, maybe even two hits, probably just one hit. Do I want the piety or I want to put damage on the boss? I think I want to put damage on the boss. So, yeah, if we're putting damage on the boss, let's get more stone skin. Now, even without any more stone skin, I can survive taking two hits from the boss before I start. Uh, before I cash in my level up heal. So, let's forget the serpent. Um, I'm never going to make it to level 9. So that serpent is pretty useless to me, actually. So yeah. Hit the boss. Uh, now the th question is, do I want to save mana for an Indus wall before I hit the boss after I level up, or do I want to just cast a biceps for another hit? I don't think I want to explore. I mean, I could explore just one tile, uh, but that probably wouldn't be worth it. I think I want to save the mana for Enda's Wall. So after I level up, I'll cast Enda's Wall, and then I'll go at, after the boss again. Okay. It's actually perfect. I don't need in this wall at all. I, if I'd done the arithmetic, I would know that, but I didn't do the arithmetic. I would have needed to calculate how much my, my maximum health was going to be. So I can hit the boss twice. I don't have to really do anything. I can just win the fight outright. Don't even need biceps. Don't need anything. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Hmm. I might as well. Um, I guess for style points, I might as well end the fight with a lot of health. Not a lot, actually. Okay. I'm still pretty low. I don't really want to fight that stupid snake. I'll just forget. I forget everything. I'll just, uh. I mean, I could go for the badge, but forget it. Let's, let's get out of here. We'll be back soon, anyway.
So getting feeling parched with a priest, you don't do that very often because priests synergize with potions so much. But I was doing glowing guardian, so I was paranoid about that, and uh, the bonus of damage to undead was so extreme that I didn't. All I needed was a level up heal. And yeah, that's how you do it. Okay, so yeah, this is, uh, I can now, it costs like a lot of gold in-game, but if you have the, the uh, goat person expansion, uh, I just did whatever it was you have to do in-game to uh, unlock that. It's really expensive, but it's a class that's really f uh, random and frustrating to play as. Uh, can be kind of fun for like high-end play and, and just it really helps you um, I should play it more often uh, but helps you get some practice with dealing with uh, gods that you may not uh, prefer to deal with force you to learn a few things here and there so that's kind of nice but uh, that ought to happen some other time Okay, did I complete? No, I didn't complete the quest. I have to do Monk now, so let's let's try to be a little bit faster this time. Um, monks have a really hard time getting any damage out. That's, but uh, um, some of these things they're actually a lot better than you think that they are. I could get a dwarf. Uh, just because when you're a dwarf, if you gain enough health, then you can, it's a lot easier to actually survive a hit or two. Um, that gives you a bit of a head start in the fight, but I f feel like human scales a little bit better. It compensates for the penalty that monks have, but uh, monks are just that strong. Uh, shield is pretty strong synergy. You have Basically, if I'm, I'll be taking less than 50% damage from all physical uh, monsters. It's going to be great. Uh, Flame Magnet is tempting because um, uh, basically you're going to spend a lot of time exploring as you fight and having a little bit of uh, being able to cast fireballs uh, occasionally. You know, every time you explore six tiles, you regenerate a whole bunch of life, and you get a fireball. And uh, the sooner you get the fireball, the sooner you can exploit that. But uh, I'm gonna take my chances. The early game might be tougher, but if I have more conversion points to work with, then uh, my late game will be that much stronger as a human. So let's do that. Uh, the trick with the monk is you don't want to wait too long to start fighting the final boss because uh, there's only so much explore so many exploration tiles to work with and if you don't have anything to, uh, if you don't have any exploration left then it's gonna be really uh, it's gonna be really rough you won't be able to milk your uh, class's strength during the the fight where you need, it, need them most. That's really bad. So what is this event? I don't even remember. Oh, okay, apparently I just unlocked Dracul. I forgot. Okay, uh, this is actually pretty good synergy with uh, Monk. Whoa. Whoa, one health point. I think this is a special event. I think after I kill, quote unquote, kill myself, Dracul will like uh... Wow. It's kind of insane. Is it gonna heal me when I leave, or is that just the way things are gonna be from now on? I'm gonna do Blood Curse, because at least I can get first strike on things that are level one. And 
and I'll just leave it at that for now. I think what must have happened is that... Uh, no, that's just weird. I, I've never seen that before. Well... At least with a shield I take literally zero damage so I'm not getting killed outright, but this is kind of insane. Is that a bug? I don't think that's supposed to happen, is it? I might just restart the level, but I don't know. It might be challenging to do it this way. Uh, that health relic just gave me a little bit of a boost, but I'm still in a pretty rough spot. This is kind of ridiculous. I don't remember this being a thing. I just killed an undead, but whatever. <sighs> this is the craziest. Um, I mean, at least now that I've gained a level some health now to work with, but it's pretty dumb. good. I just, my stats are so screwed up right now that I... The easiest thing would probably be to just restart the level, because uh, this special event's little uh, penalty is rather extreme. end of health. Um, yeah, that's probably that's probably what I needed the most right now. So that basically undoes whatever the hell just happened at the beginning of this level. Still don't have any really good candidates for beating up on. It's going to be just about impossible to beat higher level monsters because that stupid uh, thing that Dracul did to me. level 6 meat man might actually be doable. It's just gonna take a ton of exploration tiles. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Um, you get, if I remember correctly, when you, if you get life steal, um, I mean lowering my maximum possible resistances isn't very good because if I get end as wall for example I could crank my resistances to 75. Um, I think I'm going to skip out on Blood Hunger altogether. Because with Blood Shield... Yeah. Blood Shield would crank it to 65. And I would just totally lose the Blood Shield altogether if I had Blood Hunger. So it's not worth it. So, never mind.
let's see, let's, how much, if I kill undead, it's minus five. So I want to get some buffer piety, I think, before I do anything too crazy. Uh, I don't want to level up, though, I don't, because I know I can level up off of this meat man here. I'm going to start regen fighting this meat man, and I'm going to be very careful not to get punishments. So with blood shield, that'll be that much easier. Because look at that. It's just basically, uh, you know, it's basically any of the Rocky movies, the fights always go to 15 rounds. That's uh, basically what a monk versus a meat man looks like. So sure, you take uh, your health bar depletes faster, but uh, one of the monk's passes is that uh, you regenerate a lot faster, so you kind of win. And I need to make sure I actually use biceps, or else I'm gonna... it's all going to be for nothing. Well, not really. It's going to take that much longer if I don't. Uh, so I'll explore. biceps every time to remember to do that. I think eventually I'm going to run out of mana faster than I have to heal my health. It's just going to take a long time. So there we go. At this point I might as well do it for the mana instead of the health, but if my health actually caps out, I'll stop. Do one hit without biceps, maybe. Yeah, see, I explored only one tile and I gain a ton of health. That's why monks are crazy. that's funny about the Rocky movies is like nobody ever blocks a punch. They either take it in the face or they dodge it. It's like blocking is not a thing. Um, unless my memory just serves me wrong, but I could have sworn that one time when I was like 12 or 14 or something, I watched very closely and tried to see if they ever blocked anything. And unless I was just slow and my eye and was seeing things wrong, I didn't see a single blocked punch. So that's kind of silly. I feel like these days, those are the kind of things. I mean, movies aren't really realistic on the whole. Not always. Uh, most of them don't really try. But I feel like boxing mechanics, that's the kind of thing where Hollywood is trying harder to be more accurate about. Even if they're not always trying to be accurate about everything. Uh, but anyway, it was, uh, yeah, Rocky II. Right there. Apollo and Rocky go at it again. <laughs> Level 8 meat man, I could probably actually do it, but I don't think I I don't think I want it that bad. Eh. It's a tough call. Nah, uh, it's gonna take a week. I don't know if I want to do that. It could be really bad. Yeah, I, don't, I think that's a losing fight. I need to be level 7 or something, I think. Um, I kind of derped on that. I should have... 
I shouldn't have killed that because uh, I have won a fight now. But that's one experience point wasted. I'll probably be okay. Okay, Glowing Guardian, that's pretty interesting. Probably would have been better than Drek for this character. Uh, if I kill enough things, I can get enough piety to convert. Might as well make it the goblin. Let's do that. I killed way too many low level things because that stupid special event at the beginning of the level. Now I'm having a hard time setting up a farm. It's not like monks can even one shot anything anyway. I probably just. I'm eventually going to one shot this stupid serpent and maybe that wraith, so let's not convert the glove just yet. I can't. I shouldn't be doing, making dumb decisions just because I'm angry at the game. Because uh, that's just not how you win. Let's instead go after this level 7 goat. Get a little bit of bonus experience. That's the thing about Dracul, it's really hard to get bonus experience because you're artificially one level higher than you should be. This is not a very good level. The thing about artificially being a level higher is that your fireballs are stronger, but the boss of this level has retaliate fireball. So it's just not a good place to or time to be worshiping your cool. running out of places to explore, so that was the best thing to do at that point, I guess. Okay. Let's get rid of that. I need all the damage I can get, so... Let's do that. Yeah, monks have a hard time milking and want to fight for anything useful. Uh, even by the end of this level, most of these I won't be able to get hit in one kill in one shot. And most of those I'll probably need biceps for. Like, there's one exception, but it's just one exception. Uh, I can start fighting this meat man, maybe, or this goblin. I 
think the, the meat man is always the easiest for a monk. So let's do that. Should I start fighting something else before I level? Oh. Uh. Yeah, I guess I can start on the other meat man. kill this level 9 vampire, but I don't know if I really want to, want to go for that just yet. Part of it is I would lose piety. I mean, I want to get to 50 so I can convert, but I don't even know if that's possible right now. It might not be possible. That's how wacky it's getting. Shield. That would cap me out. That's interesting. That would cap my resistances right at the maximum. That would be pretty convenient, I suppose. Um, I have to sell something. This shield. I'm pretty sure the. Uh, is there anything else I would rather convert, though? Probably the Wanna Fight. I haven't. Uh, set aside everything I wanted to set aside yet, though. I'll, I'll wait a little bit. There's some lo very low level monsters I can set aside. Because now I'm just, now that I'm level 7, I'm just getting nothing but level 7s with my wanna fight, which is kind of annoying. If I'm going to be exploring for mana, I might as well be fighting in these level 7s while I'm doing it. Except I don't want to cast it because I might accidentally stun the thing I'm currently fighting. Uh, if I were to stun it now, that would be great because I'm about to kill it anyway. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's undead, so Dracul's kind of a jerk about it. But what can you do? Okay. 
Do I really need Glowing Guardian for this for this boss? I mean, it's kind of too late to get much benefit out of Humility, like lowering my experience level and all that. It's kind of a moot point. This there's, there's not even enough things to kill for the bonus experience for it to matter. So maybe I should just set up my farm. Yeah, I'm not gonna convert. I don't think. Fighting this stupid goblin, maybe. Yeah. like for you to be able to reach in fight the final boss. I don't have enough black space to do that. And do I want to try to level up again? I think so. This level 9 will get me pretty far. And am I going to want the fireball? I think I just want the damage. I mean, it could come handy with some of these other monsters, but I can get by without it. So here we go. Uh, I've still got some low-level things just lying around waiting to be set aside. So let's keep casting that glyph. tiles. Um, this boss fight might require some potions. <sighs> and yeah, magic resist is rearing its head a bit there. Okay. later for that, but this was taking so long that uh, it just wasn't in the cards, I guess. 
Okay. Um. Blood Tithe is kind of good for boss fights, but I let's uh. I want to get my level up heal, and then I'll gain Blood Tithe. I think. Um. Yeah, Blood Tithe should help me out with this boss fight a bit. I can get one hit in. And I can start. Farming these guys. Okay, I want to avoid killing the undead ones, because that's going to make Dracul angry. But other than that, uh, how's this going to work? Before I start fighting hardcore, is there anything else I should get? Oh, I was going to get the tower shield, but I never did. Okay, that's dumb. Okay, I was going to convert this. Well, let's actually do that. I was going to buy this. That's a little bit better. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, um, we're finally going to see Dracul do something useful for me. I mean, okay, blood shield, first of all, that's 15 of my physical resistance came from that, so that's a big deal, actually. Uh, it's actually really nice. A monk with a tower shield and, and Dracul's blood shield boon has exactly 75% physical resistance, which is exactly the monk's mask maximum, so that's uh, one reason that that combination can be sort of good. Um... could maybe get to level 10 even. I mean, it's the fake level 10. You know how that goes. Uh, I just need 35 experience. But too many of these... Those are level 5 goblins. I won't be able to one-shot them, so I won't get the bonus experience, but I can definitely take those on. So that's 15 or 16 experience already. Um... I should just go for it, I think. These meat men are sort of jerks. Uh, I don't want to lose piety, so maybe I should stay away from the undead. Can I do it with, without killing undead, though? Probably not. That's okay. going to kill undead, I should probably kill that one, because I can. it won't take any damage at all. I can one-shot that. It's probably not going to be enough. Nope. But whatever. Okay, instead of making Dracul angry, I think I'll just kill this meat man. Three hits. I need one more. Uh, okay, never. Wait, wait, wait. Don't do that just yet. Let's hit the boss. I can hit the boss twice. This isn't gonna be. Yeah, this is not gonna be hard. It's not. Even, it's not gonna be close. Get the level up. Now, how many times can I get Blood Tithe? Probably twice. Yeah. Okay, two Blood Tithes. It's only 10% only of your max HP, but there's a lot of blood on the ground. I can re regain my entire health like twice, which is going to be way more than I need. If I need it at all. I might barely need it whatsoever. Yeah. With no regeneration, it's going to be kind of... it would be close. Because biceps is boosting my damage. Yeah. If I head first strike, I wouldn't need to regenerate at all. So that's what Sanguine does. It makes Dracul happy, and it 
fills your health up. And, uh, I Unlike exploring, it, it does not uh, take up a turn and cause enemies to heal or anything like that. So, there we go. Dracul, you just helped me kill a level 10 vampire, which is probably not what your uh, ambitions were when you took me on as your disciple or whatever, but that's how karma works, I guess. And honestly, Dracul is kind of annoying me. Um, just for the flashpoints, maybe I'll uh, kill everything on the map. Might as well make Dracul angry and never... Uh, it's always like, fun to do. this prestige one so if you level up after you hitting max level you still get the level up heal but you don't actually your stats don't actually increase or anything like that so that's good times or whatever well, I can almost one shot this but not quite I bet if I yeah I don't want to convert anything because if I do that um, Basically, any items that are worth gold, if you convert them, that's that's gold. A portion of that gold value would go toward your kingdom, so I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to convert any of those, just for the style points. I would rather just have the money. But, uh... Yeah. Might as well kill everything. Might as well drink this blood. And leave the map with full health, if not full mana. Sure. Oh, one other thing. Um, just for the lulls. Uh, I'm sure Jakul would be happy if I desecrated some altars. Might as well. Oh, one, no, no, not Glowing Guardian, though. Glowing Guardian, if you desecrate Glowing Guardian, you, all your items are destroyed. And those are worth money, so let's just make it Mysteria. And call it a, call it a game. Okay, so I derped around a lot, and I didn't get, I wasn't paying complete attention, but I think Dracul, that this special Dracul unlock event like lowers your maximum health and artificially raises your level by one before you even start doing anything. So I think it was artificially two levels higher with minus 10 health, and it was just kind of all around suck town. Um, it took a long time to uh, recover from that, but usually, um, usually it, it wouldn't be that hard to, to do that level with that race and class combo or in um, but yeah maybe it would have been a, not that hard if I had found Dracul after I'd gained a few levels but uh, the unlock event at level 1 apparently is really nasty uh, Usually I wait until later because a lot of times it's a god I don't like very much, but you're cool. I wanted to worship right away, but uh, the penalty was really painful. Okay, so what do I have left to do? Uh, I, wanted, I need to unlock Rogue and probably Orc. I said I was going to unlock Orc, but I don't think I have enough money to do both, so that's too bad. So I think I'll do uh, Thief next time, and then I'll have enough money to get Orc, and then I can do Orc Rogue, but I don't know.
something like that. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, why not? I'll put tower shield in my locker instead of a spoon. And, uh, that's it. That's uh, Minotaur, the Kingdom of Tarsboro. Closing out yet another couple of dungeons, completing yet another quest. Uh, committing even more derps. Um, but, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. Um, an altar.